टुडे वी स्टडी हाउ टू कन्वर्ट गिवन मैट्रिक्स इन टू द नॉर्मल फॉर्म नाउ देर आर सेवरल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द नॉर्मल फॉर्म नॉर्मल फॉर्म्स ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स now the followings are the forms very basic form is i r where i r is a identity matrix of order r suppose for r is equal to 2 i r is i2 is nothing but identity matrix of order 2 so this is one of the particular example now the second type is i r and null matrix so again for particular case it is just like 1 0 0 1 and null matrix and the third case is again identity matrix of order r null matrix so for a particular case this can be written as 1 0 0 1 and null matrix and the last form is identity matrix of order r and null matrix so for particular it is just like 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 now these are the some normal forms of a matrix now to understand this we solve one example reduce the following matrix into the normal form and hence find the rank now consider the matrix e is equal to One, one, three, one minus one, one minus one, two, zero, one minus one, one. Now to convert this into the normal form, our first step is. converting the first element into the leading one now the second step is converting the second element that is entry below the leading one into the zero similarly we have to make three into the zero so this is what our first step now to convert it into the leading one already we have the leading one so there is no need to convert into the leading one so first entry we call it as leading one entry now by using this leading one we have to make the below entry zero now there is a simple way to find out the corresponding row operation so the given matrix is 
वन थ्री वन माइनस वन वन माइनस वन टू जीरो वन माइनस वन वन Now this is nothing but the given matrix. Now this is what our R one, R two, and R three. By using this leading one, we have to make this following entries zero. So the row operation is simple. It is R two minus this entry. That is one into corresponding leading one row. That is R one. Similarly, the next row operation is R three minus. its entry into the leading row so by applying this row operation we get the corresponding matrix is one 0 0 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 3 minus 2 minus 2 3 minus 2 if you are not able to do this calculation directly i will tell you the rough calculation for that so first of all we write r2 so what is our r2 Is one minus one two minus one. Now what is our second step? Multiplying minus one to the R one. So we consider this is what our R two minus one into R one. So minus one into R one is minus one minus one plus one minus one, and then we take the sum of these two. So we get zero minus two three minus two. So similarly for the third row. Now once we get the below entry zero, remember this. to make the below entry zero we apply the row operation now to convert right side entry of leading one into zero we have to apply column operations so for that similarly we are applying the column operation so this is what our c1 that is leading column c2 in three we have to make zero c3 c4 so the row operations are c2 minus its entry into c1 comma c3 minus its entry is minus 1 So minus of minus one is plus one into c one, and the third row operation is c four minus c one. So by applying this row column operation, sorry column operation, we get one zero 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 minus two. Minus two, zero, three, three, zero, minus two, minus two. 
now the second step we have to make this entry as a leading one for that we have to apply the row operation so the row operation is r2 divided by minus 2 so we get the corresponding matrix is 1 0 0 0 1 minus 2 0 minus 3 by 2 3 0 1 minus 2 now once we get the leading one we have to make below entry 0 so to make the below entry 0 we have to apply row operation so the row operation is we have to make r3 entry 0 so it is r3 minus its entry so minus of minus 2 is plus 2 into the leading row is r2 now the leading row is r2 so by applying this row operation we get the corresponding matrix as 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 minus 3 by 2 0 0 1 0 now to make right side entries of the leading one into the 0 we apply column operations so the corresponding column operations are c3 plus 3 by 2 c2 c4 minus c2 so we get 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 now this is what our last matrix so from this we want to find out the corresponding normal form so we break this matrix into such a four parts so it is same as i2 and three null matrix so here we have the identity matrix of order 2 therefore the rank of A is denoted by row of A is equal to 2 because order of identity matrix is so this is how we are converting the given matrix into the identity matrix and using this we are able to find out the rank of matrix. To understand row operation just search for Rahul Jaivant Abang and the corresponding topic of mathematics into the YouTube. Thank you very much.